In a somewhat surprising move, U.S. President Donald Trump reportedly made a comment, a commitment rather, to recognize Taiwan as part of China and not a separate government. Kim Jong Soo shares with us Trump's comments during a phone conversation with his Chinese counterpart, centering around honoring the long-standing One China policy. According to the White House, President Trump spoke with Chinese President Xi Jinping on the phone Thursday evening, U.S. local time. Marking the first official phone call between the two leaders, she uh, reportedly expressed his willingness to engage in mutual cooperative relations, while Trump was said to have acknowledged the importance of the U.S.-China relationship. Notably, Trump said he will respect the quote "one China" policy, which demands that Washington does not recognize Taiwan as a separate and sovereign state. The conversation suggests that U.S.-China relations may not, in fact, be headed for the possible breakdown signaled when President-elect Trump broke with President and accepted a phone call from Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen on December 2nd to congratulate him on his election victory. The move sparked fierce criticism from the Chinese authorities, as Washington had severed official diplomatic ties with Taiwan back in 1979. And on December 11th, Trump said during an interview with Fox News. That he saw, quote, no reason why the U.S. should continue respecting the One China policy. In response, China made its stance clear during a January press conference just days before his inauguration. If anyone attempts to damage the One China principle, or if they're under the illusion they can use this as a bargaining chip, they will be opposed by the Chinese government and people. In the end, it'll be like lifting a rock to drop it on one's own feet. According to many pundits, however, the conversation with President Xi has had the effect of relieving some of those tensions. In an interview with British Daily The Telegraph, senior adviser for Asia at the Centre for Strategic International Studies in Washington, Bonnie Glazer, said the two sides can now quote get down to business and discuss how to manage their differences, likely referring to North Korea or the South China Sea. Also in the phone call, the two leaders reportedly invited each other to visit their respective countries. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.